if you go on AliExpress and you look for a sound meter, you'll find all sorts of stuff all the way from like really expensive to really cheap, you know, with no brand on it at all. When I want to buy a tool and I want to be sure that it's going to work, but I don't want to break the bank, I usually go for Unity. So that's what I have in front of me here, the uh, UT353 mini sound meter. So as you can see, uh, the shipping from AliExpress was not very kind to this thing, but um, let's see if it survived the journey. So has bubble wrap. Oh, interesting. So the mic fluff thing is a little bit unfluffed, but I think it'll be okay. I guess there's the mic at the end. So at least we know now that this is a sort of directional. You point it in the direction. It's not like Omni. That's good. Looks pretty good. Oh, it has a captive battery catch, which is nice. Um, so it takes triple A's, three of them. It's got an instruction meter or instruction manual, I should say. Oh, extra instruction pamphlet. Oh, all in Chinese. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're going to have to use the uh, translate app for that. So I don't know how good that's going to be. Uh, so let's put some cells in it. So I've got these here. I'm going to stuff this guy in here. So a sound meter is useful when you're modifying your gear to make it quieter or if you're just checking environmental status of the place you're at. Does it have a little, it has a little trim pot here. That's interesting that when you open the battery tray a little bit, the trim pot is available there and then you can flip it up. No, you can't get it anymore. So that's a really cool design. All right, let's turn it on. My work area here where I film my videos is very loud. So I'm going to be quiet for a second and we're going to check the uh, noise levels. Like 46 dBA. I'm going to point it behind me where I think most of the noise is coming from. And I'll step out of the way. About the same, 45, 46 dBs. So quite loud, and I record my podcast in this room. So let's see what we have. We have a fast and slow. So that must be the sampling rate. Oh, I see. This one is sort of averaging a couple of the uh, the readings. We have a hold. What's BL? Press and hold. Nope. I don't know what BL means. Then we have your min max. So the max. Let's see if we can. Oh, there. Just dropping it. That's good. And then the min. That'll tell you your minimum. But I don't know on what scale it is. Like if I wait, will the min drop? Or just when you pressed it? So let's see. Yeah, so there you go. That's the minimum. And I don't think it'll get any lower. And then you got power off. So that's about it. It's a very simple device, but it wasn't very expensive. I'll put links in the description. Um, let's go see if we can find the noise of certain devices, shall we? I've rigged one of these big 997 motors. These things are, are bigger than they look. Um, I just... I tried to rig it to something sort of sturdy so it wouldn't fly off my bench, but I didn't do a very good job. And I'll be regulating the uh, voltage over with this hand and we'll be checking the sound levels. So here we go. Most of this is going to be silent. So I'm going to get the baseline.
So how about that? That's pretty cool. So you can uh, check the relative noise levels of, you know, different uh, RPMs on this motor. Now there's, there's no load on this thing, so it's not making any noise um, for that, but it does have a little fan inside and it does have, you know, the commutation noise and uh, it doesn't have uh, bearings, it has bushings, so you can hear the shaft rubbing on that. So that was pretty cool. Let's find something else. This thing is also great for figuring out how loud your work environment is. Um, it's usually much louder than you think. Let me prove it to you. So this is just an Amazon uh, battery impact. Uh, people like me, like mechanics, we use these kinds of things. Uh, not the Amazon one, this is my home one. Um, all the time. And let me show you how loud it can get. That's 97 dB to the dome. It gets worse. That's 105 dB. So if you have to do this kind of stuff, this is the impact, you know, you take uh, on and off wheels with it. Um, so you're, you'll hear this snapping noise of the impact driver inside here. Um, at least that much per lug nut and then you have to do, you know, all four wheels, which have, you know, up to six, sometimes eight lug nuts, depending on what you're working on. Um, you'll do that on the way off and on the way on. So it starts adding up a lot. If you don't wear hearing protection in your workshop, this will get you. The other thing that may be more relevant to you folks listening at home is maybe you have a 3D printer or a piece of test gear that has a loud fan in it. Well, I'm not going to bring a piece of test gear down here, but uh, it's pretty good to be able to check how loud your fans are and if you want to, you know, upgrade or not. So let me bring a substitute. A lot of us have this guy. So this hot air gun. It represents a blower that you might have in a 3D printer or something like that. And as you can see, they are quite loud. So when you're chasing to make your room a little bit quieter, it's good to have a before measurement so that you can do your after measurement. Just make sure that when you take a measurement, the distance stays constant. And so that's it. The, this thing is a nifty little tool, not very expensive, really good to have in your tool belt. You'll be able to tell, you know, how loud your workplaces are, how loud your machines are, how loud your record, your recording area is. If you do YouTube like me, um, and I think it's worth paying the couple extra dollars over a no-name brand to get a brand that you at least can trust. Links in the description.